let's go to Dr. Sullivan's evil laboratory. At least I think that's where this place Wait, is. This is where Mary and Sullivan work. It wasn't by a lake, though. That's because all of my memories get mixed up in here. Are these memories about your accident? Do you remember anything? I can't. Something is blocking me. Shutting down. 10% complete. Let's hurry. Oh, jeez. Okay, so Dr. Sullivan is trying to shut down the machine that's keeping me here in the dreamscape. And this area is definitely a recreation of some sort of lab. Uh, not just Dr. Sullivan's lab, though. Also, um, the, the mother, Mary. Mary worked here with Dr. Sullivan. I don't have the time to pick that lock. Let's go inside. Jeez! Leaving so soon. Helen, too bad. I'd love to see your face after I erase your niece from her own mind. I won't let you. Hand over the other crystals. Oh. But I'd much rather watch you look for them. Tick tock! <laughs> Do you think she was serious about that whole erasing thing? Sullivan's DCA could do it, but there's no way she could escape Emmy's mind. Do you mean the thingy mom treated me with? It's on the second floor here. Oh, oh no. no! Oh jeez! The machine's on the second floor and evil Emmy is there with the machine. Oh, I don't know who's the villain. Is it Emmy or is it Dr. Sullivan? Maybe Dr. Sullivan is just trying to help me by uh, getting me out of here as quickly as possible. Or he's trying to stop me from saving Emmy. I don't know. Let's do this hidden objects challenge and find out. We've got this valve. Um, there's a hidden skull somewhere. Wow, I'm finding nothing. An electric fan. We need to find bananas. Well, there's a normal fan. I guess that's not what we're looking for. Bananas. And scissors. And a hook. And a chain. A chain. I'm clicking on the chain. There's the bell. There's the... I don't know what that is. I moved that thing aside, but didn't find anything. There's the bow. Uh, skull maybe inside here? Ooh, creepy. We have a stethoscope over here, and then crumpled up paper should be easy to find. Here. No, that's not it. I, I guess that's rolled up paper and not crumpled up paper. There it is. Yeah, this is kind of cool. We get to explore the area, this this hospital area where they're performing the experiments. And we have a VHS tape. We also have a computer mouse and a fire stopping us from going any further. Also, this door is locked and uh, this thing is broken. Lots of, lots of stuff not working here. Computer mouse goes there to fix the computer. We will get a pass, a hall pass. That should let us go upstairs, right? I hope so. I mean, we need a pass to get through this door. And we just got the number 1540, which I'm sure is this code here. 1540. Did you try turning the knob, Barry? Good job, Barry. Oh, hey, great. So that helps. I need to put the valve into place, too. So I grab the fire thing. I'm throwing it through the window there so I can put out the fire. Woo! Go away, fire. Nobody likes you. Haha. <laughs> All right, so that gives me a cable that will be used upstairs. As I said, that door is totally broken, and we are going to need to find a bunch of switches. We're going to need to find three switches to fix this puzzle. And we can't go down that hallway, but we can go into Sullivan's laboratory. So let's learn more about Sullivan. Sullivan likes VHS tapes, apparently. And we need to power these TVs before we can do that. We need to find the missing button, though. And we have a hidden objects challenge. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Let's solve it. A shaving brush. Some air freshener. We're going to open up this for Napoleon. And those uh, beads. A uh, tobacco pipe, let's see, uh, hidden here. We need a stethoscope again. Hey, we found one in the previous objects challenge. We have a feather, a comb, a blade, 
and the plastic card we need to go upstairs. Awesome, we found it. So here we have these reels. We're just gonna play them. I'm on the verge of a great discovery. I just know it. I can't wait to show my Alpha Beta Iota brothers my DCA technology. My hard work is finally paying off. Did he say Alpha Beta instead of Alpha Beta? I mean, that's where the word alphabet comes from. Alpha, beta, A, B. It's A and B in the Greek language. Okay, let's do reel number one. Day 35. The patient is bonding well with the cerebral visualizer. She'll be the perfect specimen for my DCA experiment. Did you say cerebral instead of cerebral? This is not somebody I want performing brain surgery on me. Okay, so we've listened to two of the uh, tapes. We need to listen to the other ones. But we got a button. So both those tapes give us an item. So let's see. With this puzzle, we want to... Click the buttons to freeze them. And we're trying to recreate those symbols on top. This is going to be red on the right, red on the left, and then blue on the other sides. Okay, so next two, uh, left two are red, and then blue. It's going to be blue, red, and red. As you probably noticed, it depends on when you click the button. That will change the color. If I click when this lever is on the top, it's blue. When I click and the lever is on the bottom, it's red. By recreating all those sequences, I have powered these TVs. Let's put in this tape. That one's empty. Okay, uh, what about this one? Aha! It has another audio reel for us. Let's listen to it. I need those research results by the end of the month if I want to make it to the Stockholm Conference. But Dr. Wheeler won't let me anywhere near the only bonded patient. They say research instead of research? Hmm. Let's see. Okay, we have a knob. Is that the knob for this, or is it it's a different knob? Well, that's not fair. Okay, let's go back out here. Let us uh, put in our plastic card. I'm gonna verify it now. Great, so that verifies it. And I kind of wish we got to see the picture on it. Oh, it's Mary, it's Mary, the mom. Okay, Mary, my sister, we're playing as Helen. So this is Mary's pass card. I don't know why it says 1993 on it. It hurts. Auntie. Emmy. Emmy. Complete. The DC unit has to be here somewhere. The DC unit? Do you mean the DCA unit? I'm sorry, I'll stop criticizing the characters. I will stop, stop making jokes like that. So we have a cable here. We need to have two more cables. Yeah, you know what? That's, that's the problem with doing uh, YouTube stuff. It's like sometimes I'm trying to make a joke, but it just sounds like a complaint. Or sometimes I'm making a joke complaint. I don't want to sound like a whiner pants. Definitely had comments on, on like videos before where it's like, I will tell a joke if people think it was mean. Or even when I'm live streaming and I'm reading the comments out loud and it, it sounds different. So it sounds like an insult. Like a terrible joke. It's like, no, it wasn't my joke. I was just reading a comment out loud. Oh, no. So we need to find a scroll. I don't see the scrolls anywhere. I already clicked on that. Was that? Oh, we had two scrolls on that screen. Well, that's why I messed up. Let's put this VHS tape in. Hey, that's the final VHS tape. Great, we found uh, half the VHS tapes. Let's go on the first floor. Um, what are we doing here? We're putting in these two switches, I bet. Anything else for us to do here? No, we're going to the second floor. I totally forgot to go here. <laughs> Whoops. There's Mary, there's Emmy. Be brave, honey, we're almost done. 
Okay. I am about to make history. What's happening? Sullivan's been lying all along. He's the one who created Emmy's second personality. What should we do? We're going to use this memory to finish Mary's treatment. But how? Let me think a minute, Barry. I don't know. I'll just make it up as I go along. It sort of looks like Sullivan was just over-eager to make history, and he was messing around where he shouldn't be, and so messed up the, the time Mary was trying to go inside Emmy's brain. And now, now we've got an evil Emmy wandering around, and Mary's in a coma, so is Sullivan a villain? Maybe he wants to kick me out of here because he was trying to prevent me from figuring out the truth of what happened. I think this is the knob. This knob goes here. Okay, we're going to switch to number two. So that changes the thing on this machine. But we don't have any of the parts or any of the instructions, really. So we, we can't finish with that machine there. I don't know. I think Sullivan should have told us the truth from the beginning, right? That could have been helpful. So we need to create the sign. It's alpha, beta, it's A, B, and then I. For those of you who don't know Greek letters. It's just ABI, that's what you click. Those would be the English counterparts to those letters. Alright, so we just powered that machine on the second floor. Hooray! We can go back to the second floor now. Put this cable in. We need one more cable, it looks like. And no, no, no. Map screen is saying we've got something for here. Oh, there's the other cable. It's on that... It's on the... It's on the locker row right over there. What does that give me? That gives me gloves for the other side of here. We still need something to smash the door. Smash the glass. Give us access to that control room. Let's put another reel into place. I think this might be the last one. The preliminary tests I secretly made on a patient went well. No negative side effects were. Secret tests? Yeah, that's kind of slimy. Ping pong paddle. I uh, don't know what a cigarette holder looks like. Is it that? Yes. That's a certificate. I need a portrait frame. A carbon dioxide casts. capsule. Let's see. Open this for a door handle. Hand fan. A light bulb. Here's a crucifix. Flower, candelabra, and two items left. The tag, and that's the carbon dioxide capsule. And finally, a tag. What's a tag? I like the frowny face. That's kind of cute. Frowny face over there. Okay. I don't see a tag. I don't quite know what a tag is. I know tag is in the game where you run around and chase people and say, tag, you're it. Ooh, that's like a body tag. That's like the tag you put on dead bodies to identify them. Ooh, that's, that's kind of gross. Well, the door handle. We found the door handle, so now we can open up this door. This will be the last room, I think. I'll check my map. That's not the last room. We want to go to the control room on the other side of that glass door. But hey, you know, the map is saying we've completely finished two of the rooms here, but none, none of the other rooms. So, let's see. The rubber gloves go here so I can rip this open. That's going to give me that power item. This is going to need a control piece and give us a really long puzzle. It's not too long, but it's kind of a pain. There's a key. That's a puzzle button, and that's another switch thing. And I think we're almost done. Let's back over here, put this in place, and this will be... This is a math puzzle. A math puzzle. So, 
we want to add, so like, this one plus this one equals 100, and this one plus this one equals 80, and this one plus this one equals 95. So how can we get 95? Well, that's 45 plus 50. That's the only combination that'll work. I guess 70 and 25 might work, too. But, let's see. 45 plus what equals 70? 25? That's got to be it, right? Again, 25 plus 50 equals 75 there. And 50 plus 50 is 100 there. So 50 plus 30 equals 80. And 30 plus 70 equals 100. Hooray! That gave us a hidden object challenge. I think I'll save that for the next video. And also, we have the key. So the key goes right there.